Okay, in this video we are going to talk about integrals, completing the square, and then the results will be uh, inverse trig functions. Uh, so there's a couple things that you got to remember before you really get started. So the first one is that uh, the integral of dx over the square root of 1 minus x squared is equal to arc sine of x, and then plus c. Um, also, or similarly, the integral of dx over 1 plus x squared is going to give you arctan of x plus c. And then the third thing that you really need to remember, um, which is kind of a big deal, is you have to remember how to complete the square. So uh, let's dive in and do an example. So this first example is, uh, it's got a lot of algebra in it. So let's see. So we want to do the integral of 15 dx over 4x squared minus 12x plus 34. So when I see an integral, I usually have a couple of thoughts. So um, my first thought is, do I recognize the integral? Because a lot of integrals you look at and you just immediately think like, oh, I know the antiderivative of that. In this case, uh, I do not, so that's a no-go. Um, my second thought usually is, uh, is there some kind of obvious u substitution that I should do and then turn it into something that I immediately recognize? And uh, there's nothing here that would work as kind of an obvious u substitution. Um, for this particular thing, uh, my next thought is, uh, is there some kind of quadratic? So is there a weird quadratic in this thing? And there is actually a weird quadratic, and that to me means I probably want to complete the square. So I'm going to do that. Um, my first step is uh, everything in that quadratic has a 2 in it, so I'm going to take out a 2. I'm also going to factor the 15 out of the numerator there and just kind of like clean this up a little bit. So it's going to be, uh, I'm taking out 15 halves, and then I'm going to be left with dx over um, just 2x squared minus 6x plus 17. So everything's a little smaller, so that seems like it'll be a little easier. And uh, I don't like to complete the square when the leading coefficient is anything other than positive 1. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to look at this thing, and I'm going to, out of the 2x squared minus 6x, I'm going to factor a 2 out. So it's going to be 2 parentheses, and then I'm left with x squared minus 3x. And I'm just going to close the parentheses and say plus 17. Um, okay, so let's see. The next thing, I got 15 halves, the integral of dx over 2, um, x squared minus 3x, and now I need to complete the square. So to complete the square, you take the coefficient of x, which is negative 3, you divide it by 2, so that's negative 3 halves, square it, that gives you 9 fourths, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 9 fourths, but then to balance that out, I'm also going to subtract 9 fourths. And then I will close parentheses, and there's still a plus 17. So the whole point of that is um, the first three things that we wrote there, so the x squared minus 3x plus 9 fourths, so this stuff, is a perfect square. So I can then factor that. So it's a perfect square trinomial. So that's going to factor into uh, x, and then it's plus half the coefficient of x, so it's going to be plus uh, negative 3 halves, so I'm just going to write minus 3 halves. And then that's the quantity squared. Um, the main thing people forget here is they forget to distribute the 2 to the negative 9 fourths, so when I distribute that I get minus 9 halves and then plus 17. So I've completed the square. It's starting to look more like arctan to me at this point, um, which is good because uh, it's going to end up arctan. So let's see what we can do from here. Um, I'm just going to combine the uh, negative 9 halves and the plus 17. So that gives me plus 25 over 2. For this to be arctan, I really need this right here to be a 1. So I'm going to factor 25 halves out of um, everything in the denominator and pull it out of the whole fraction. So I'm pulling out 1 over 25 halves, which means I'm really pulling out a 2 over 25, right? So pulled out 1 over 25 halves, which is the same as 2 over 25. I still have this 15 halves, but you can see a lot of stuff's going to cancel there. Uh, I have this integral dx over. So if I pull or divide or factor out 25 halves from the first thing here, the 2 times the quantity, factoring out 25 halves is the same as dividing by 25 halves. Uh, which is the same as multiplying by 2 over 25, so I end up here. You might have to work that out on paper to kind of see what I did there. Um, but it's basically I divided by 25 halves. 
And then uh, factoring 25 halves out of 25 halves gives me plus 1. This is good. This looks almost exactly like arctan. I'm going to rearrange it so it looks um, how I prefer. So this 2 over 25 and 15 halves, that's just going to cancel. So I'm down to 3 fifths there. Uh, still got a dx here. I'm going to rearrange this so it looks more like I like it. So arctan I like to think of as dx over 1 plus um, x squared. So uh, I put the 1 first, and then this is a perfect square, so I'm going to actually factor that, or write it as, uh, you know, 2 times the quantity x minus 3 halves all over 5, and then squared. You can see that's equivalent. Okay, and now I'm pretty much ready, but uh, I'm out of space, so let's start over here. I'm going to make a u substitution. So u is um, that quantity that's being squared. So uh, Also, I distributed the 2 because it just looked weird. And now that means that du is 2 fifths dx, which means that I have a dx that I can sub for, so 5 halves du is going to be dx. So now I can make all of my substitutions. So I um, still have that 3 fifths. Uh, dx is 5 halves du, so I'm going to pull out the 5 halves. So 5 halves, and then the integral of, it's du over 1 plus, and just u squared, which is a perfect arctan integral. So I simplify this to just 3 halves. That's arctan right there of u. And then we got to do plus c. And then u is equal to that thing over there. So we'll replace it. So the hardest part on this problem by far was completing the square. Once you complete the square, you just kind of match up um, what you think it should be. So I thought it was arctan. So I matched up the form, did my u substitution, um, and it worked out. So let's do one more example. So that was an arctan example, so this one's probably going to be an arc sine example. Um, so here's our integral. It's x over radical negative x to the fourth minus 8x squared minus 15 dx. So I have the same sort of thought process here. Um, the first one is do I recognize that? I, I don't really recognize it. I mean, initially I think that it looks like something I could do a quick u substitution on, but that's definitely not going to work because I don't even know what I would make u, I guess, the negative x to the fourth, blah, 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 but then du doesn't work out at all. So I don't recognize it. Um, it's it's not u substitution. Uh, we just talked about that. So that's out. There's definitely a weird quadratic, though. And this quadratic is particularly weird because it's actually a quadratic in x squared. So it's like x squared squared is the quadratic that we're dealing with here. So I'm going to try to complete the square. So I'm going to factor um, from here, I'm going to factor out a negative 1, because I'd like the leading coefficient to just be a positive 1, so negative, and then I have all of this, and then there's still the minus 15, and then a dx. Um, so at this point, let's see, so it's going to be x dx over, and then negative, and then it's x to the fourth plus 8x squared. Now I need to complete the square, so I'm going to take the coefficient of x squared, divide it by 2, get 4, square that to get 16, I'm going to add that, and then to balance it out, I'm going to subtract it, and then close that parenthesis, but there's still a minus 15. So here I have negative, and then the first three things are a perfect square um, kind of trinomial, so I can factor that. So it's going to factor into the square root of x to the fourth is x squared, and then it's going to be plus half the coefficient of x squared. So the coefficient of x squared is 8, so half of that is 4, so plus 4. And then that's the quantity squared. And then I need to remember to distribute the negative to the minus 16, which becomes plus 16, and then minus 15. And then we get this. I'm going to kind of rearrange it so that it looks how I would prefer. So I'm thinking at this point definitely arc sign. Um, so 16 minus 15 is 1, so I'm going to put that first because that's how I have arc sine memorized. So it's 1 minus, and then I have a quantity squared, so that's like 1 minus u squared. So at this point, we can do u substitution. I'm going to let u equal the quantity that's being squared. So x squared plus 4, so du is 2x dx, which means that 1 half du is x dx because I want to substitute for x dx. Okay, let's make our substitutions. So the x dx is 1 half du, and then it's square root of 1 minus u squared. That's perfect arc sine, so that's 1 half. And then sine inverse of just u plus c. And then we know that u is x squared plus 4, so we get 1 half 
sine inverse of x squared plus 4 plus c, and there you go. All right, so that's uh, two different examples where we needed to complete the square before we could actually integrate, um, but we got them done. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck with that.